people are going to hear a lot more about gene therapy in the future, so it's good to know what it is. So gene therapy is essentially the insertion or replacement of a gene uh, in your cells. So your genes are uh, hold the, the basically the blueprint of who you are and what you look like and vastly how you function. And with gene therapy, we have the therapeutic ability to put in a gene that essentially makes you better. So today there are nine approved globally uh, gene therapies that treat what's called monogenic disease. They treat a single gene mutation. And then my company is interested in putting together what's called uh, gene therapies for complex disorders like aging. Yeah, and that's why the controversy hits the road. So don't think, folks, that there is no approved gene therapies. There are for particular diseases. But like uh, the normal situation here in the U.S., we like to look at diseases one at a time and go regulation, lots and lots of very important, not telling you that you shouldn't be doing studies and testing and lab tests. Then it gets regulated and then it gets approved. But aging is not a disease in this country. And um, there's a, in my world of ageism, I don't really want ageism aging to be a disease. But here, because it is not an endpoint, because it is not a disease, it's very difficult to do studies, lab tests, clinical tests, and say this is going to cure aging if aging isn't a disease. So we're in this trope here. Now, you do believe that aging is a disease that could be cured, which is part of the controversy around you. So let's hear about that. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, probably aging is the most distinct pathology on the planet. Um, Almost everyone with aging uh, eventually dies of the same symptoms. Uh, They are basically cordoned off into things like heart disease, cancer, uh, kidney failure, and dementia. Uh, it has the same uh, visual uh, signs on the outside and the inside of the body. So even if you look at the brain of an 86-year-old who doesn't have dementia, you will see massive atrophy. So it, it really is a distinctive condition. And things like irritable bowel syndrome and cancer, which vary greatly um, at the core of, of mechanism, actually um, are considered one disease. So by considering aging a disease, uh, we can then target aging as an endpoint in clinical studies, and that would uh, greatly uh, speed up the uh, regulatory system in approving therapies that can treat the whole population. 